Hey guys, this is Mr. Sal. I'm just going to go over some of the questions we had in class. Uh, I'm going to rework some of these problems, but first of all, we're going to look at this. You can read all this garbage up here at the top, but really what I want to focus on is this function right here. And the thing that we have to realize in this function, and this is all based on the wording, which again, I didn't read, but you can go back and read it, but that x is the reading in millimeters on a seismic scale for a earthquake and M is the size or magnitude of an earthquake on a Richter scale. So again this is the Richter which is the M of X or the Y if you will and the seismometer reading would be the X, the actual X which goes inside of this function M of X. And the reason we have to identify these is because it will be important for us as we look at the next problem, or these next two problems, what each of these are as we solve for them differently. So for, uh, for example, again, m of x is the Richter scale reading and x is the seismograph or seism seismometer, whatever it's called. Uh, that's that reading. So in this example, we need to identify if we're looking for the seismograph reading or the Richter scale reading. And if we look at this, the magnitude of an earthquake with the seismograph reading of 40,000 millimeters. That means that we're going to replace the value of x with this 40,000 right here. And of course we can rewrite the expression or the equation as m of 40,000. And from this point, all we're going to do is plug this into a calculator. Uh, some of you guys may have older calculators, in which case you're going to want to put this value in first, 40,000 divided by 0 .001, and then take the log of that. Again, that's all based on the type of calculator you're using and how old it is, perhaps. But when I do this, I can plug it directly into my calculator. And rounding my answer to the nearest tenth, I get a reading of 7.6 magnitude on a size on a Richter scale. Now this problem isn't really meant to show us the magnitude of a Richter scale earthquake or a seismograph, earthquake on a seismograph. Uh, none of that's really important here, other than just what we're doing in order to find the magnitude. Okay, so you don't have to be able to derive this function for us, okay? Just keep that in mind as you work on these problems. We're not so concerned with you being able to find the functions, it's more about being able to work with them.